Well, catalytic converters are a part of your car's emission system. They keep the air a little cleaner before the exhaust gets through the tailpipe, but they use valuable metals like platinum, turning them into tempting targets for thieves. One church had enough conducting its own stakeout, leading to three arrests. News 2's Neil Orn takes us to Blount County. It was a crime in their own backyard. When members of Outreach Church in Maryville went to start their van, it just wouldn't go. One church member, who feared retribution from the accused thieves, spoke anonymously. The battery was dead, so we charged the battery up. On Thursday, one of our other members thought he would check and see if the van would start again. And when he did, the van was very loud, and he realized that something was wrong. It was a quick look under the vehicle that revealed the van's pipes had nearly been cut in half. This prompted us to look at the cameras, and we found during the night that some individuals had come in and had attempted to take the catalytic converter. But the thieves' failed attempt gave the church an opportunity. That is why we wound up being able to keep a more watchful eye on the second night. Call it divine intervention, the criminals came back, and they were being watched. They came out and captured the individuals. The suspects were there, and they made the arrest there. John William Hinkle, Jonathan Hans Wellman, and Hannah Marie Handmacher were taken into custody. Ultimately, the church hopes the situation points the accused criminals in the right direction. Maybe this is the time when they get their lives turned around and find their place and come to a close walk with Christ. Neil Orne, News 2. Well, one of the suspects told deputies they were stealing the car parts for money. All three suspects now face burglary charges.